Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we'll introduce you to balancing angles and coordinates in Traverse PC. I have opened up a survey called controlloop.trv, and this contains just one Traverse. It's control loop of 160 points that we ran around a section in the public land survey system. A control loop can be any number of points. This one happens to include quite a number of side shots as we tied accessories. And we're going to take a look at adjusting this or balancing this inside of Traverse PC. Now, I'm going to switch over to something called Display Raw Data. It's available in the View menu. And I can see that I started this Traverse at point 14. I went a bearing in distance to point 15 and then started turning angles as I went around this, this section. Let's drop down to the very bottom of the Traverse and I can see that I closed out on point 200, and over in the description, I said it equals 14. It's just a way of me keeping track of the fact that point 200 that I closed out on is the same as point 14, the point I started on. I did the same thing for the observation below it. I said I'm going to turn an angle now, or a closing angle, to point 201, but in the description I said equals 15, the same as point 15. Traverse PC is going to use these equal signs in the description to automatically set up the closing data for us. And we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. So I can switch back to View, Toggle Display Raw Data Off, and here are all the coordinates that Traverse PC computed for me. Let's tell Traverse PC now that we want to take a look at the closure view. The closure view is where we do the adjustments in Traverse PC. I start first by checking make sure that Traverse PC has, has correctly identified the initial points and closing points for me. To do that, I choose Edit, Closing Settings. Okay. I'm going to click on the closure type here, and I can see that I've got a closed loop Traverse. If I click on the Closing Point tab, I can see that I'm starting at point 14, I'm closing at point 200, and the correct closing point is 14. So Traverse PC has picked that information up right out of the Traverse for me. If I go to the closing angle, I can see here's the closing angle I entered in the Traverse from point 200 to 201. And Traverse PC has then added that to the closing point to come up with a computed bearing. It's going to compare that computed bearing against the correct bearing. Again, it pulled this out of the Traverse because I said I closed out on a point 200 that equals 14. I turned an angle to a point 201 that equals point 15. So it recalled the bearing between 14 and 15, and that's what gives me my angular error. Let's OK this. And if I take a look at my error summary here now, I can see that Traverse BC has identified that I have 85 hundredths of linear error. Let's just go ahead and highlight that so you can see that. 85 hundredths of linear error. And I can see that I have just over a minute of angular error. Now, I'm going to go ahead and balance the coordinates first, because I want to introduce you just to a couple of concepts here. So let's choose Tools, Balance Coordinates. If I were to press F1, or choose the Help option right here in Traverse PC, Traverse PC would bring up help for this dialog. This is the Adjust Coordinates dialog. And I want you to see here that Traverse PC includes some basic information for you on the compass rule adjustment, the transit rule adjustment, and the Crandall rule adjustment, in addition to a couple of other adjustments specific to the public land survey system. These are from Davis and Foote surveying the fourth edition, kind of a, uh, a great reference for this sort of thing. I'm going to close this out, and let's go ahead and do the compass rule adjustment and choose OK. So here's a couple of things I want to um, introduce you to. Traverse PC, of course, has adjusted the coordinates, so I have zero linear error at this point. The relative error, it displays as one in zero and tells me it's a closed loop. If I were to open up the Traverse Manager, um, you can see that I've included columns for the linear error, the relative error, and the closure type. So Traverse PC tells me this Traverse is now adjusted or balanced so it has a linear error of zero, and it tells me its relative error is just closed. And I know I have a closed loop, 
from point 14 to point 200. So much of this information can be displayed back here in the Traverses Manager also. Let's take a look at our um, closure view again. And I want to show you something called the adjustment details. I pulled down the view menu earlier and I said, what do I want to include in, for my closure data? And I turned on this option right here that says adjustment details. Adjustment details are great in that it tells me how much Traverse BC adjusts at each point. Let's drop down here partway through our, our Traverse. And I can see that at point 145, I have an adjusted position a raw position or the position we started with, Traverse PC gives me the difference for which it adjusted it both in the um, northing and the easting, and then gives me a linear error, a horizontal linear error of 55 hundredths, and the corresponding relative error for that as well. If I come all the way down to the bottom, my last point should have an adjustment of 85 hundredths, and it does and should have a relative error that matched my uh, raw relative error before I did the adjustment. So you can use the Traverse or the adjustment details here to get a lot of information about what Traverse PC did point by point. I just want to put a plug in here real quickly for the least squares adjustment that Traverse PC also includes in the professional edition. You can get a lot more information um, about the um, data your residuals and your standard errors by doing a least squares adjustment. What I want to show you real quickly is back here in the Traverse view, we are now looking at the adjusted coordinates for all these points. Traverse PC adjusted all the control points and then it went back and recomputed any side shots. So the side shots now are based on their adjusted control. Kind of a neat thing Traverse PC does. But remember we looked earlier at that display raw data all of the raw data is still here. Traverse PC didn't get rid of that. The neat thing about having the raw data here is that I can come back to the closure view anytime and I can say tools, undo adjustments. Traverse PC simply goes back to that raw data and recomputes the Traverse, uh, basically removing any adjustments that I've already done. Now, let me just walk quickly through balancing angles and balancing coordinates. I'm going to come into Traverse PC and tell it I want to balance angles separately. It just did that, so my angular error is now zero. Okay. I kind of have to take whatever I get on the linear error, and in fact, balancing angles in this particular case made my linear error worse. Um, it's kind of a, a toss-up as to whether or not it improves it or makes it worse. It just depends on um, what the angles are. And of course now, if I were to come all the way to the bottom, I can see that I adjusted that last point uh, significantly uh, based on the balancing of the angles. Let's go back now and say, in addition to the balancing angles, I now want to apply that compass rule adjustment. So let's go to Tools, Balance Coordinates. I'm going to turn off Elevations because we really didn't need those. And let's balance this according to the compass rule. So I'm going to choose OK now. Traverse PC went through and adjusted the angles, and then it applied the compass rule adjustment. And I can see that I now have adjustments of coordinates based on the compass rule and angles. If I look at my linear error, of course now my linear error is zero. If I look at my angular error, it's now zero also. And remember that 85 hundredths of linear error that we started with? Let's drop down to the bottom of this Traverse. And again, here's our 85 hundredths. Here's our original relative error. Uh, some of you are more familiar with or more comfortable with some of the other adjustment methods. So we could quite easily tell Traverse PC we want to undo the adjustments and go back and choose a different method. If you're uh, more familiar with the transit method or choose to use the transit method, Traverse PC now tells you that it adjusted the coordinates based on the transit method. For every point that got adjusted, it tells me how much it adjusted it, and of course, I have my same 85 hundredths and 30,000 relative error. Let's do the same for the Crandall rule now. Balance coordinates based on the Crandall rule, choose OK, and again, Traverse BC adjusts the coordinates. My linear error is zero. I'm going to get some difference in the actual adjustments themselves, but I'm always going to end up with that 85 hundredths 
and relative error here at the end. Now, there is lots more that we could talk about with uh, setting up traverses to correctly identify closing points and closing angles using least squares instead of these conventional methods. Uh, but I can save this survey now, come back a week from now, a year from now, and I can undo the adjustment, redo the adjustment, leave the adjustment just the way I had it. Uh, there's lots of flexibility in here with Traverse PC, balancing angles and balancing coordinates.